Hello, beautiful people here on the Raising Wellness channel, all 195 of you. I am here to give you the first ever bullet journal video on this channel. So I'm really, really excited about bullet journaling. I found out about it maybe six months ago, and I was really trying to meld these two sides of myself because I am a Cancer Leo Cuspian creature, so I'm like really watery and creative and emotional here on the cancer side and then the Leo is very like in your face get things done leader type of thing so I was trying to find a way to blend those two things together because planners to-do lists those things get so redundant and so boring to me and I never get them finished because there's no I don't feel like there's any love or creativity or spontaneity in them so I created my first bullet journal and I'm pretty excited to share it with you guys. So comment below if you've heard of bullet journaling and if you're trying to start one for 2019. I want to see those of you out there that are trying to bring these two worlds together, the creative world and also the get shit done world of yourself. So I have created a video for you guys and I'm going to share it with you so you can see my 2019 setup, my first ever setup of a bullet journal. You can see how I created it and what it looks like, maybe get some ideas for yourself and let's jump right into it. So as you can see here, I have a ton of blank pages and I'm so super excited to fill them all out with you guys this year. And let's get started and open up to the first page. Dramatic unfolding. So here we are on the first page. I already made a collage right on the side and I really wanted my theme to be let go, be guided, and expect miracles. Because there's so many times when I feel unaligned with my purpose and my passion and is because I try to control it so much I, try, I constrict it so much try to manifest it so much but the process of manifesting the best thing you can do is let it go allow yourself to be guided and expect miracles so here is a quick snapshot of that first page so jumping right back in we are now going to move on to the key section. So typically I don't use keys when I am making a to-do list or something like that, but I hashed out some ideas when I was creating this a couple of months ago, and actually I loved the key idea a lot. So I made up my own key here, got some ideas from other bullet journalists, and I left it open on the bottom there in case I thought of any more symbols that I wanted to use for my key. Because uh, like I said, it's my first time I'm discovering, finding new things, and opening and creating that open edge of possibility right there for myself. And then I just filled out the color in gray, the key in gray, and outlined it with black. I will put all my markers and this crazy stuff that I used down below so you guys can see what it is that I used, and I'll link them for you. So now I moved on to the index here. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this index, but because it's my first time, an index is highly recommended to use when you're starting out your bullet journal, just so you can keep a tally of the pages that you're writing and where they're located. So on the column to the left, I wrote page number, and then on the right, I was writing description, and I just made two pages of this, just because I'm not sure if I'm really going to use it or not. Not quite sure on that, but it's a good way to keep yourself organized. And then I just outlined it in gray, gave a little shadow drop mark there, and moving on to the next page. So this next page is a grid, just so I can see what the number dots are that are like halfway down the page, horizontally and parallel, horizontally and parallel, vertical, that's the word. Uh, and then on the page next to it, I did a year at a glance. So this is all of little calendars of uh, every single month, just so I can see which days stem on which days, which days are the weekends, you know, what number, what date is which day is what I'm trying to say. So that's what I'm doing here and just jotting it all out, 
putting the numbers and the days of the weekend so I can keep myself organized. Know what day it is because I feel like 2019 is going to be a really big year for a lot of businesses. I don't know if you guys are feeling that energy, but I for sure am feeling that uplifting energy into building a business and a brand that I love, which I'm really excited about. So this is going to keep me organized, keep me on top of my game so that I can make amazing content for you guys. And then on this next page, these are the months. So if there's certain days in a month, like someone's birthday, or maybe I have a work meditation workshop I'm doing that month that I need to remember ahead of time before I make that big, uh, what do they call it? Outline of the month? I'm new to this game, you guys. Theme, they call it a theme. All right, so these are my little calendars, and this is January, February, March, April, May, June, and then on the next page, I did it all the way through December, and I did little mini calendars up at the top so you can see which days fall on which number, which date. Beautiful, yes, it's so gorgeous. And then below that, I can write down anything that's going to be happening like a birthday or an event, a meeting, that kind of good stuff. Oh gosh, I just love these clean pages. It makes me so excited. <laughs> I'm kind of a nerd for organization, which you guys might not know about me, but I totally am. So this next page is my 2019 goals. And I wrote down things that bring me joy and creativity, travel, things I have for YouTube, finances, Raising wellness projects and another one there in the corner which I believe is health. And these are just little areas that I can write down my goals and typically I try to go way too big, way too many goals so I wanted to keep these boxes small to keep myself simple and precise and then I just added a drop shadow underneath the boxes to make it look extra cool and I added some flowers and some pink because flowers are kind of my thing recently. So I just added that to give it a little extra spice. And these are my daily gratitudes. So if you guys don't know, I'm a huge gratitude junkie. It helped me so much through depression and anxiety and a lot of sadness that I dealt with a couple of years past and that has brought me here to this moment. Um, is gratitude has helped me hugely. So my idea with this page is to write down really teeny tiny every single day one to two things I'm grateful for and then I can look back at it after the year is over and see all the amazing things. And on these two pages I have YouTube videos to make so this is a place just to brainstorm and jot down ideas and I also have raising wellness project ideas so that's like workshop ideas, meditation ideas, that kind of stuff I can give to my local community that's not online. So I'm really excited about these pages so that I can hash out those plans and ideas for you guys. And this next page is, I'm really proud of this because I'm not a very good doodler personally, but I'm working on it. And this is my books to read page and I thought it'd be really cool if I made these shelves with little books on them and I put like a little geode book stopper there on the end, a bookend and some plants and stuff, pretty proud of it. Took me a really long time to sketch this out and to go in there and outline it for you guys with all the succulents and everything cool. But all of those books, I can put the titles in there of the books that I want to read so I can go back and look and I can add more bookshelves to this page if I so choose. So then I just went in and I added some color to the succulents. These markers that I have, I've had forever. They actually used to be my dad's and I love drawing with them. So, and they're perfect. They're fine points. So you can get into those small areas or you can make, you can cover bigger areas, but it's really great. I found for bullet journaling. I just went in and colored with these gray and a mustard color, some purple and pink and greens. Really been loving mustard colors and green and teals recently. My living room is owed to that. <laughs> And then on this last page, I just put in some doodles. So this is area for me to practice my doodling and get better for you guys. So let's just take a quick run through here. Love that first page as a reminder. 
And I'm just so excited for all this open space here to make plans and design my life and the things that I want to create for you guys and and be able to cultivate this community here online by first hashing out the goals and plans in this journal. Especially the videos and the projects. Oh, I'm so excited. And that rounds it out, you guys. That is my bullet journal 2019 setup. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give a like and a comment down below so I can hear from you guys. Like I said, I'm really hoping to cultivate this community online. I have a huge community here locally that is with the Raising Wellness gang, but I want to create this community online for you guys. So if you like these videos, if you want to see more bullet journal videos, meditation videos, self-care videos, then make sure you like give us a subscribe hit that little bell here and put a comment down below what are your goals for 2019 maybe you can think of an affirmation or a goal and write that down below to see if anyone else in this community maybe has a similar one and you guys can team up and really make sure that you do it together and stay committed together that would be really fun and cool and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be making a january video for you guys a january setup really excited about that one and I will see you next time. I'm sending you so much love, so much gratitude. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next